Challenge your host with the most time boy double O and you're currently watching you guessed it time boy TV What is good and today we got the turbo greens is the topic of the night currently I just posted a new video You know what I'm saying? It's mad weird watching myself, but it is just about 10 17 p.m As you guys can see we're gonna head down to the kicks USA, which I still have probably not posted a video of yet about how bad it went down for the uh, UNC patents the UNC patents we're a disgrace in Stewart, bro. There's a full story about how bullshit New Jersey is with the lineup shit. Not New Jersey, not just New Jersey, probably, but for a lot of other states. But regardless, it's just how it always is in Jersey. And I, I gotta make a separate video on this because it needs to be talked about. So anyways, we're gonna head down there. Hopefully it's not a long ass line like yesterday. It's, I'm, I really don't plan on staying there the whole time, not gonna lie. I do gotta come home, get some food, and come back because I didn't plan really. I've been editing this video for six hours. Six freaking hours. So if you guys could check it out, I appreciate it. But let's go down to Kicks USA. Arrived at the scene, and this is the first time ever. There's nobody here. This is this is what people consider lining up in New Jersey, bro. These empty chairs. They think that's lining up. They think that's what's like okay. Like no, that's not how this fucking works. You wait in line how you're supposed to. But uh, it's currently way too early for these Turbo Greens. They're not worth jack shit unless you get a small size. So I have two options. I could either put myself to the front and wait here all night, which I'm not down to do at all. Or I could come back at like 4 in the morning and claim my spot. And whoever's not here, I'm going to just go in front. Uh, because mine is the last one, the green one right there. It is at the very, very end. If you guys can see, that sad guy. But last time for the patent UNCs, it, I would be like more towards the end of that column. Like right in the middle by that pole. That's where I would have been. And you know, that shit just wasn't going to happen because they're more limited. I feel like the Turbo Greens are also limited though. Because I did call Foot Locker and they said uh, they're not getting as many. They won't have leftovers. I remember for the black, the uh, the Sports Illustrated ones, they had hella leftovers. So I'm going to decide what to do. Probably going to come back at 4 in the morning and I'll catch you guys with lining an update. Lining up in New Jersey, baby. This is lining up in New Jersey. 12 hours before this, nearly 12 hours before the store opens. And yet we got nobody here, but we got all their reservations here, bro. This is fucking stupid as fuck. But you know, I'm going to hop on the way for now. Get my little spot, but don't worry, be coming up there next for that little baby size. Two hours later. Guys, what is good? So we're back. It is currently about uh four in the morning. Just about. You guys can't really see it because I'm watching some uh and all of a sudden I, I was downloading this thing and I got a computer virus. It is currently just about 502 in the morning. Wait, wait, wait. Boom, there we go. There's currently those people in the car right there in the Audi that uh, do got the front spot. So I'm all the way in the back, but I'm about to move my spot to the front or to the middle-ish. Because they, they do own like the first eight seats as usual. They were here for the patent UNCs. They're greedy. This is what New Jersey people do. This is exactly what I was talking about. They have a fucking full, full set of chairs, but don't show up till opening time. So we're going to have to deal with that for a minute. There was mostly going to be a fight or a little bit of complaints, but I could give a give a less of a shit because they messed up my UNC patent pickup. So I'm going up there, moving my seat to the front and trying to get the smallest size possible. Wish me luck. I'm going to catch you guys with an update of when it gets a little bit more light out. I could give less of a fuck right now. I am moving up all the way over here. I don't know whose chairs is who, but we're moving all these people's shits down because they ain't here. And this is not how sneaker releases are supposed to work, ladies and gentlemen. This is not, that looks like a lot like my chair too. So I'm pretty much gonna choose, I'm assuming they own the first three chairs. So I'm gonna just put myself right in over here because I think those first few, I'm gonna like, respect it, they're here early. Well, except it's only two people. So uh, I'm gonna just put myself in the middle over here because that's where I feel like I belong. And uh, hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna catch you guys. All right guys, so it is approximately, uh, yeah, I don't even know what time it is, but I don't even know what time the store opens, which is the main issue. Sorry if I'm on my phone right now. But uh, yeah, so as you saw, I moved my spot. Uh, they moved the back over one, but it's okay. I'm spot number 10 currently right now at my seat. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to this. I mean, we had a little conversation with all of us and, and it kind of didn't go that great, but it's whatever because uh, I still got to touch my pair. I'm not really trying to get my size. 
I am trying to get a size 10, and if they have a grade school, that would be fire, but I don't think they do, because the only people that I saw that had reservations open for the grade school was Foot Action, I think. Uh, and also Palace's lookbook just came out, so that's pretty fire. So I'm gonna catch you guys a little closer to the opening. Oh, what the fuck is going We're out here with our normal bathroom vlog for this lineup situation. It's really going down all right, not gonna lie. It's like I'm 10th in line. I just want a size 10 or anything under that would be great. 10 is the max I'm willing to go. <laughs> all right, guys, so we out here. We, uh... Line's looking pretty good. We currently, the manager just rolled up at 7.55, but it's currently uh, just about 7.55. As I said, he came up at 7.50. We're gonna see how this goes because there is starting to be a little bit of commotion, but we're all getting along so far. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, but other than that, we're, I'm hoping for a size 10 or some shit, as I said. Uh, I'm gonna catch you guys hopefully with it. And then we're gonna run over to one more full locker and see how it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have secured the pair the last time I saw you guys. We actually did a little bit better than I expected. I got a size nine and a half, not ended up needing to get a 10. They had a nine and a half. Uh, I think they actually might have one more pair, nine and a half, but their dudes behind me got 10, 10 and a half. Of course, there was some fuck shit, dude. It literally 10 minutes, literally not even 10 minutes, five minutes before they open, dudes pull up like, yo, you moved my chair. I was like, yeah, I moved your shit. And they're like, yo, that's not cool. I bought all the room about to rob you and shit. I'm like, there'll be a full story at home. Don't worry, you know, full story, story on telling. But um, it's just some fuck shit. You got to stay on your ground and it'll be some bullshit. It's whatever though. So uh, stay safe out there if you guys are looping right now. And I'm going to catch you guys back home with a little unboxing. And I'm going to do a separate video for review. So I'll catch you guys then. 10 seconds later. Oh, guys, welcome back. We're finally back on the camera. Sorry, couldn't talk as much as I wanted to on it. Just, you know, the camera whole thing out there. It's like a rush. Everyone's peeping at you, looking at you, waiting for you to get out of your spots so they can come in at you. So basically what happened, I was in line. Sorry if the truck is a little bit loud. You should be able to hear me. But I was in line for the sneakers, right? All of a sudden, these dudes pull up at 7 o'clock. Keep in mind, the store opens at 8. I would have been there since 4 in the morning. Uh, they come up and say, yo, who moved the chairs? And I rightfully said, as you asked on the video, I did. I said, yeah, I moved the chairs because you guys were not here. A chair does not hold your spot in line. I was here four in the morning. I woke up mad early. You were home sleeping. You came mad late. You were in no rush. I'm out here waiting for the fucking shoes. You're at home sleeping, taking a nap. You're lost, bro. You got to be out here early if you want to get this money. Like, that's just how it goes. Like, in life, life lesson for you guys. You got to be there early or else you're not going to get shit. And this guy, they all think the chairs hold their spot. So he goes, yo, I'm going to rob you once you come out the store. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever you say, like, bet. And then there's this other dude with me. He was, like, backing me up saying, yo, the chair does not hold your spot. There was, like, six of them. Me and the other dude, too. You know, it's whatever, though. I just kept it straight. I was like, yo, I'm not moving. You can kiss my ass. I'm going in store first. I didn't say the kiss my ass part. I just said I'm going in first. They're like, all right, we'll see about that. I ended up going in first. I got my pair. Finally enough talking. Nine and a half. Uh, so pretty much they didn't have no nine. Uh, pair seemed all right, I guess. I was number, I'd say, 12, 13-ish in store, and I got a nine and a half. So I'm assuming they had a good amount of pairs, more than the UNC patents, which I did not go to, but I ended up talking to some of the dudes that were in line, and they said that uh, they came out with like only 15 pairs. So good thing I didn't camp out, because I probably would not have got it. But they said the whole chair thing also got messed up for the UNC patents. So you see, I'm not in the wrong here. They're definitely in the wrong 1,000%. doesn't matter. I don't care what you got to say. A chair does not hold your spot in line. That's the bottom line of it, and we're going to talk about that in a separate video for the UNC patents. It was some bullshit. But enough talking. I do want to finally show off this pair for you guys. Now, these are growing on me like crazy, even though I just got them. These are these come with two laces, though. I like how they got the Jordan symbol on it. These are the Turbo Greens. Got that nice colorway, bro. The gray sole, the baby blue, and like this quality is different from what they've been releasing lately. Like this is that different type of leather. That suede is coming different. And then this is just popping. I love this kind of gives me like Sean Weatherspoon vibes, though. Like the coloring, like the purple, the yellow, and the blue. Kind of reminds me of like a Sean Witherspoon inspired Jordan 1. And I'd say because the materials are different, Sean created a new type of 97 1 with new materials that's not really used. And these are also a new material that isn't normally often used, but Jordan brand has been bringing it back in 2019. Two laces, fire as hell. Let's see the other pair. Yeah, buddy. Hopefully they don't mess up though, because I've heard Kicks USA has been messing up OD lately. And this is what we got going down right here. Peep the truck. Goodbye, my guy. Size nine and a half. White laces come stock. There we go. That sole is actually nice too. That South Beach vibes, baby. South Beach. So these are currently going for approximately 
I, these were actually going for 250 Thankfully, I did not get in a Fufu size 11 and a half or some shit that I normally get because I always be in the back of the line. This time I said enough. I'm not trying to get caught with no brick. So the, it's currently before sneakers release. I'm probably going to be doing a live cop. And also one of the homies in line said he got me with a pair uh, from Finish Line, which is getting their pairs later. So I was grateful for that because he saw everyone pressing me for some bullshit. So thank you for that, bro. But these were $160. I think I had the receipt in here somewhere just to prove it to y'all. So y'all won't understand. Basically, $160. Light work, baby. $160. Profits like around $60, 70 bucks if I do decide to sell them now. But I'm going to see. I'm probably going to sell these now, though, because I do need to get the money up for Supreme Season. Week one, I'm going in the store. So that's about it for this video, this lineup situation. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know how lineup situations went over with you guys. If you do decide to go in store, if not, I'd kind of not recommend it if, if you're not willing to just get one pair because you could easily cook more pairs online within the time span but i kind of just wanted it in hand for a nice sneak review for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching peace out